Ten glory, Father. Ten glory, Son. Ten glory, Holy Ghost. I'm forevermore. Ya no lo lo nwa. Ya no lo lo nwa. Ya no lo lo nwa. O lo nwa ye ra ye. Ya no, ya no, ya no lo lo nwa. Ya no lo lo nwa. Ya no lo lo nwa. O lo nwa ye ra ye. In Jesus' precious name, we worship. Glory and glory be to God in the eyes. Yes, dear beloved, I want you to thank the Lord as I welcome you to your weekly program, Solution Hour. This program comes every Saturday by 9 p.m. from Christ Redemption Bible Church. By the grace of God, I decree and declare that as you continue to worship God with us on this YouTube program, every Saturday, the Lord God will provide solution to every situation of your life in the name of Jesus. Can we invite all our loved ones, our brothers and sisters? Let everybody come around and be a beneficiary to this special program tonight. As you do that, May the Lord God answer you in Jesus' name. Let's go to our prayer session. Somebody say, every association anointed to disgrace me. This few months to the end of the year, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every association anointed to disgrace me and disgrace my family. In this few months to the end of the year, I say, we scatter, we scatter, we scatter, we scatter, we scatter. In the name of Jesus. Pray again and shout, say every association anointed to embarrass me as we are approaching the end of the year. I command Biscata, 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 Biscata in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray again that every association to mock me, to mock my family, to mock my husband, to mock my wife, to mock all my children as we are approaching the end of this year. I decree, let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Let them be embarrassed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. Hallelujah. I declare and declare that every association that is praying a satanic prayer against me, against my career, against my family, against my relationship, I stand on the word of the Lord right now. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost scatter them now. In the name of Jesus. Kaori Pauri Mauri Shida, I fire back arrow of death and hell fire against me. I fire back arrows of death and hell fire against me in the name of Jesus. Let that arrow go back to the sender. Let that arrow go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. I declare and declare, oh Lord, tell me to be a blessing in all my journey in a few months to the end of the year. Lord, tell me to be a blessing. Tell me to be a blessing. Turn everyone in my family to be a blessing to the journey to the end of the year in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I declare and declare that every pit dug for me by the enemy will swallow them in the name of Jesus. It will swallow the digger, the digger of the pit in the name of Jesus. I will stand tall. My children will stand tall. My husband will stand tall. My wife will stand tall. I will not die. I will finish the year well. And I shall be blessed. My head shall be raised up like the horn. In the name of Jesus. Go on if you want to go on. You want to go on. You want to go Uluani Arabiri kan wo eto yi lo lo ba mo gba dura gbogbo bi ti aye ro pe o le ti ri iran lowo gba yi o ti fe lo sun ni asale ile ko iran lowo ile ko anu ile ko ibukun ile ko igbega o ya ko si fun o ko ti fun wa ti dile re in the name of Jesus bo ti fe lo sun leyin program to gbo lale gbogbo gun alakala owo agbara to ndi o loju orun la le oni ina olorun ko run won da in the name of Jesus, I declare and declare that this message tonight will set you free. There shall be joy, there shall be peace, there shall be progress upon your life. Thank you, faithful Father, in Jesus' 
mighty name we pray. Somebody say loudest and powerful, amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He has done it again. God has done it again. Yes. Thank you for fighting my battle for me. Jehovah Olubeja. Thank you for fighting my battle for me. Jehovah Olubeja. Glory and glory be to God in the highest. Amen. This morning, this night, we're going to look at the word of God from Psalm 48. Psalm 48, verse 14. The scripture says, For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our God even to the end. I repeat again. Psalm 48, verse 14. He said, For this God is our God forever and never. He will be our guide even to the end. Wow, what a message for somebody tonight. Listen to me, my brother, my sister. The psalmist say, this God, your God, my God, he will be your God forever. He will be my own God forever. And this God will guide you to the end of this year. He will see you through. He will see every member of your household through from all kinds of dangers, from all kinds of arrows, from every spirit of delay, embarrassment, frustration, in the name of Jesus Christ. So tonight, I call the topic of the war that God has given to me to share with you, going before you. That is the topic. Going before you. In other words, God, your creator, is going to go be before you in the remaining four months to the end of the year. So fear not. Do not be disturbed. Do not allow anything to frustrate you. Don't open door for all kind of frustration. Okay? And anxiety. For the Bible says with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. So dear beloved, with God, all things are possible. I can guarantee you, I can assure you that with God, He will make things to be possible for you in Jesus' name. Can I hear you shouting a big amen? Hallelujah. Glory. And glory be to God in the highest. Now, you may be discouraged today and think that your life situation will never change. It does not matter where you are hearing me tonight. Maybe you are here with me in Nigeria or you are outside the country. It does not really matter what you may be going through, but just listening to what God is saying concerning your life, concerning that matter. You may be discouraged today with all the thinking and intention that your life situation can never receive any divine change. But I want to say, please and please, don't reach that kind of conclusions. Maybe you can see any good thing happening now. But if the curtain was pulled back, then you could see into the unseen realm what exactly what God is keeping for you. You know? What God is keeping for you, what he's doing on the ground on your behalf. My brother, my sister, if your spiritual eyes is open, you will know that that battle you call battle, we soon disappear. You will even see that that battle is no longer there. Come and say loudest, amen. Hallelujah. So therefore, you will see God at work arranging things in your favor. Yes. The remaining days to the end of year 2024, God is at work. I can assure you, God is working things out. God is open doors of opportunity. Yes, you are here to see that. But I can assure you, God is working on your miracle, your healing, your deliverance. Yes, I can assure you, that pains will not be forever. It's going. It's going to disappear. For a new day, a new season, the time to celebrate. The time is on the way now. Get prepared. Get ready. Dear beloved and brother, God is working and is arranging things in your favor. And surely, like David said, 
goodness and mercy shall follow me. In Psalm 23, goodness and mercy shall follow me. That is the verse 6. You see what was going through. He said, in the presence of my enemy, the Lord God anointed my head. In other words, David is saying the powerful thought of God towards him. My dear brother and sister, whatever you are going through, believe God that goodness and mercy as you are crossing the bridge will be your portion in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, it may not happen overnight, but at the right time, God will make it happen. In your own due season, God will make it happen. God will not only move the wrong people out of the way, but he will also will pay you back for every injustice that people may have done to you. Yes, maybe you are hearing me from outside Nigeria. There are things you have struggled to get. The whole thing seems as if it's not possible. Maybe you have struggled with your head. It seems that there's no hope of recovery. Maybe there's a project that you lay your hand for several years. It's like the project is, has been abandoned. No hope, no more financial support to continue. You've been in a relationship. Suddenly, at the tail end of when the whole thing will click, something will just happen. Several times, you have conceived and you discover that threatening abortion always come up in particular month. Even for now, you have not been able to get pregnant. I decree tonight, those battles will come to an end. All what you need to believe, trust God. Through this message you are hearing tonight, for your creator, your God, according to God's message tonight, he said, for this God is our God forever and ever. He's our God forever and ever. That he will guide you to the end. He will see that success become your story. In the name of Jesus. So he has gone be before you. So there's no cause for alarm. Your own season is coming. Yes, your own season is coming. Your lost time shall be restored back. In the name of Jesus. For those to the right opportunity is open right now for you. Come and say amen. And the Lord is bringing the right people across your path from this day on. In the name of Jesus, glory be to God. Situation that you see yesterday, today will never occur in your tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come and say loudest amen. He's even looking years down that the road and arranging solution to the problem. Yes, to the problems that you haven't had yet. He will guide you to where you are supposed to be. He will keep you, will protect you, will provide for your need. He will heal your body, will heal your soul. He will get your destiny connected in the name of Jesus. He will make your children and your children's children, you know, to become great and make all the good prayer you are praying for your family to come to pass. Every outstanding promotion that you have been denied, you are going to get double promotion in replacement in the name of Jesus. My dear brother and sister, you may have taken a couple of steps backward in recent times. Hear what the Lord says, because I'm about to begin to round up with you. You may have taken some kind of wrong step that have affected your progress. But mercy is speaking. I no sorrow. Mercy of God will speak for you. Mercy of God will heal you. Mercy of God will open the closed door. Mercy of God will announce you to the right people in the name of Jesus. Glory and glory be to God. Your season has come. Your time has come. Yes, your season of elevation has come. In the name of Jesus. Dear beloved, whatever you are trying in times of business, believe in God. You remember, until when the season of that man at the bedside that river happened, the man at the beautiful gate. Let's look at that history. That man at beautiful gate, the Bible says, was born, crippled, right from the womb of the mother. 
But when the time to get this man back on his feet, when the time comes, the power of God, the Spirit of God, directed Christ's disciple to be at the beautiful gate. They were there at the right time. The expectation of this man was to be expecting something from them in terms of cash. But these people say, look at us very well. Gold and silver we do not have. But what we have is what we are offering you. And that is the name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody you are hearing me today. That name is what you require. The moment that name enters into your life, that situation will change. That situation will change. I said again and again, that situation you find yourself will change. Yes. You remember that woman on the issue of blood. For several years, this woman is moving from one place to the other, from one hospital to another, from one specialist to the other, but the situation refused to change. Until when this woman got in contact with a Savior, with Jesus Christ, the ever faithful God, the unchangeable God, the one of yesterday, the one of today, and the one forevermore. That change the life history of this woman. You know what? That marveled me. That's so amazing. Christ Jesus did not set his eyes upon this lady. Yes, that woman just thought, if only I can touch the garment of this man, I want to believe that my struggle and the smelling, the bad odor that keep people away from me will come to an end. And this woman struggled. Yes, people wanted to throw her back, send her away from doing what she wanted to do with the garment of our Lord Jesus Christ. But this woman never agreed. She kept moving on. She kept going forward until she got to where Jesus was. And she touched the ends of the garment of the Lord. Wow! What a mighty faith. What a mighty faith. Are you in that position? That woman? Maybe you feel flowing of blood. And you've been to the hospitals? Nothing has been done. This evening, you will encounter the same experience that that woman will issue. You will be totally delivered. Can I hear say, man? The woman touch the garment. And the word of the Lord say, immediately the blood dry off. The blood dry off. That reminds me several years back in the course of this mission's work that the Lord called me. There's a woman like that that has similar problems for 12 good years in one of the ministrations here in Lagos, that God led me, that there's a woman with an issue of blood. And by the power of God walking around that crusade, the woman got a miracle instantly. In the same manner, the blood dried up. And this woman was so rejoiced, was so happy, was so excited. What are you passing through, my brother? What are you passing through, my brother? that you want to commit suicide. What are you going through in your mind, my sister? No, 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 no. The solution is not about to say no. I don't want to hear anything about Jesus. It's not about to say, let me go and, go, go, go and kill myself. No, no. In Christ Jesus, there is hope. In Christ Jesus, closed door can be opened. In Christ Jesus, the sick body can be healed. In Christ Jesus, every denier of good you, good thing can be restored back. That's what I want you to take note. Don't write up yourself. Stop crying. Stop being worried. Stop being disturbed. Yes, the hands of the Lord Jesus is raising you up now. Come on. I said the hand of Jesus is raising somebody up there. As you are hearing me, the hands of the Lord is raising you up. 
And I want to assure you that every stony morning glory in your life will surely be restored back in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear amen. So it's evil looking years down that the road and the arranging solution to problem that you haven't had yet. He will guide you to where you're supposed to be. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I told you in the topic of the war, is going before you. It has gone before me. And is going to guide you, to guide me to exactly where we're supposed to be. He will not lead you to a wrong place. Trust him. Believe him tonight that your time to be celebrated has come. Your time to be congratulated has come. Your time to be healed has come. Your time to be delivered has come. Your time to be promoted has come. Your time to be given. Your stay. Your citizenship. To get your visa. The time for divine connection to international business. Job has come. The time for your salvation has come. In the name of Jesus Christ. You may have taken a couple of steps backward in recent time, but right now, God is going before you to prepare the next chapter of your life. He's going ahead and nothing can stop the movement of the Holy Spirit in getting you to where exactly you belong to. And you shall be there. You shall take over the territory. You shall reign there. You shall be multiplied there. Your hands shall be lifted up. No arrows of the days and the night shall penetrate into your life. In the name of Jesus, you will not die untimely. You will not die prematurely. You will not die before the fulfilling of your glory. You will not lose your children. Your husband will not die, that woman. You will not become a widow suddenly. In the name of Jesus Christ, go and finish up. And finish up all those uncompleted projects in your life in the name of Jesus. If you stand in faith and keep the right attitude, you will enter a better chapter. Stay in faith. That's where I'm concluding now tonight. Stay in faith. Keep right attitude. Stay in faith. And keep right attitude. When you keep faith alive. And your mindset is positively, positively alright. Then you see the glory of the almighty God. King David in Psalm 23. He kept faith alive. He has a rightful mind. And that is why he said, He anointed my head. He anointed my head in the presence of my enemy. Your time to enter into a better chapter. A chapter with a greater victories and greater fulfillment. This is the time. This is your season. This is your moment. Come on, enter into it and begin to enjoy a new chapters of life in the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, before we go and pray, I want to introduce somebody to you. His name is called Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You need it in your life to get all your dreams fulfilled. You need Christ Jesus because this is the end time. And everything we see but left and right in front and back, they are all signal to the coming of the Lord, the second coming of our Savior. And I'm asking you a question tonight. Are you ready to choose which one you want? What I want to say is that the kingdom of God is real. And earth fire is real. The Bible says the choice is yours. Dear beloved, which one are you choosing? Heaven or the air? But my advice for you is not to choose air, but choose the kingdom of God. Because this is where everlasting peace is waiting for all the saints, all the believers. Christ Jesus is coming back soon. Don't wait tomorrow. Tomorrow 
may be too late. May the Lord God be with you in the name of Jesus. Are you surrendering your life there? If you are doing that, let me quickly pray with you before we have one prayer point and I pray for you. Our faithful Father, thank you so much, Lord, for this evening, especially for that brother and sister that have taken a decision to surrender their life to you. And as they were making this convention, I pray, Father, touch their life, heal their body and their soul. Let their convention be a genuine one. Jesus, I pray, turn their eyes away from things of the world. In the name of Jesus, let your blood come over them. Wash them clean. Thank you, faithful Father, for saving their soul and for putting their name in the book of life. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. I want to congratulate you, my brother and sister, and I celebrate all of you for taking that personal decision to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. My advice for you is that please do not go back to the world again. When you stay with the Lord, everything will go on well for you in Jesus' name. Can I ask, ask you to pray just this only prayer? Say, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise, judge every tongue condemning me in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise tonight and judge every tongue that are condemning me and condemning my family in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, pray. Lord, join them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' powerful name, we pray. I pray again, say, My Father, my Father, grant me your favor as I go to bed to sleep tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, grant me your favor. Up together with every member of my household. As we prepare to go to bed tonight, in the name of Jesus, glory be to God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. I want you to be giving Jesus amen like thunder. I want to pray and prophesy to your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much, Lord, for this great opportunity. Thank you for tonight and thank you for your word. You said in your word that you're going before us. Your son and your daughter, they were all praying. And I declare and declare, whatever may be the situation they are going through, by faith, Lord Jehovah God, that they have through this world, let their pain disappear. Let their failure disappear. Let their frustration disappear. Let failure in their life disappear. And every spirit of death, the devil are kept inside them secretly. I command that spirit of death, come out of them tonight. In the name of Jesus, I pray for them, Lord. The one that seek, let him be healed. In the name of Jesus, that woman that a mark of rejection, I follow you everywhere. I call upon the blood of Jesus tonight. Be delivered, be set free. In the name of Jesus, I pray for a particular man. Your two hands are condemned, you know, spiritually. Nothing that you put there that is good is like always disappear. This night, let the blood of Jesus wash your hands. Wash your hands. Joshua, I make your heart to be clean. Go and begin to receive blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, I pray for as many who are looking unto God for blessing, for prosperity, for longevity of life. Receive that miracle anywhere you are right now in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. You will see that pain no more. Thank you, Father. That negative dream, you dream no more. In the name of Jesus. That journey that is taking you backward, you will not embark on it any longer. Thank you, Father. As you go to sleep tonight, go sleep well and have a sweet dream. And when you wake up tomorrow into the house of God, let the blessing of God, oh my God, keep multiplying in your life. Your children, they shall all be the best. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And amen in Jesus. The Lord. I don't be final again in your life. My brother and sister, do not joke and play with this evening. But don't forget that this program comes to you every Saturday, 9 p.m. 
from Christ Redemption Bible Church. Christ Redemption Bible Church is located at number one, Christ Redemption Avenue, formerly Bello Street, Ikosiketu, Lagos, Nigeria. Now, if you want to reach me on my number directly, you want to communicate, or you want me to pray for you specially, you want to hear the voice of God in any nations of the world, all what you need, first of all, if you are calling from Asa, Nigeria, put plus 234, plus 234, 80-371-77822. I repeat again. If you are calling me from outside Nigeria, make sure you put plus 234, 